the Iron Banner is here today, people. Well, a little late, I guess you could say, but it's fine, I guess. At least my friend, Gatekeeper, she's having fun, so... The me, I'm not even bothering, with it. Not bothering with it, so I don't care much. So, anyways, today's topic, I do want to discuss about the rise of iron the iron Band that everybody's so excited for actually but also curious you can say let's see how strong the light shows. I'm hearing people already uh, talking about what kind of weapon Lord Saladin is holding in the poster um they're talking about what are we going to be expecting in this DLC content you know what? Honestly, though, it looks pretty cool. And um, what to expect out of it? We don't know until it drops. Question is: Is this expansion going to be free, or is it going to cost money? Either way, if it's going to be free, okay, cool. There are going to be people who are going to be happy about it. But if it's going to cost money, I don't mind putting down some some cash. I don't care. So. But one thing for sure, people are just trying to figure things out about it. And believe me when I say this, though, um, a poster is not going to tell everything sometimes. It's just how cool the artist did. But um, just by looking at the picture, it kind of looks like we will be seeing something that's going to look really cool. And I know we're going to have a real good impact cutscenes since Bungie's really good at this I still say Bungie you should, you should consider making a movie off of this but I know how other players will say oh Destiny the movie no story doesn't matter dude complete doesn't matter movies a movie since when a movie ever told a story you put a comment if you want but a movie's a movie in a story but anyways DLC it looks like we're gonna be seeing something that's gonna start from the very beginning the way this um, Rise of Iron looks and um, I would have to say I'm I'm, I'm very uh, ready for this actually and all I'm asking is I hope this is worth the cash if it's going to cost money it has to be worth the money if it's going to be big uh bigger than dark below house of woods put together which i'm guessing taking king size i guess it's got to be worth the money and um definitely you know it cannot be something that that's gonna have people talking and say hey, it's okay you want somebody to say damn this is a good DLC content you want people to say that if you hear somebody or, or people on YouTube talk about hey, it's okay it means that they wasn't too satisfied so Bungie you know there are tough people out there who want to be satisfied so hopefully this DLC will be worth the cash but I want to add something before I go ahead. A lot of people out there are talking about uh, pay to win. Now I'm gonna make this short right here. You guys can choose to buy something if you want to. Every video game is gonna have this no matter what. All right. I understand it's the lazy way of uh, purchasing stuff. You know, buying the taking taking armor. You know, you choose to. You choose to buy it or not. You know, ain't nobody putting a gun in your head and say buy it. You have to choose if you want to buy it or not. You know, spend your money. Money comes, money goes. You know, it's not like you're going to be broke always. Not like me anyways. <laughs> I'm always broke, but you know, I get money. Shit. I ain't got nobody giving me it. I earn my own cash, so shit. But anyways... Yeah, I'm just want to say that buy buy something 
If you choose to buy something, just buy something. If you guys don't have to, just do it normally with what I would do. Just grind for the stuff. That's how I'm doing it. You know, it just depends if you want to spend or you don't want to spend. That's all it is. But anyways, um, skip that. Um, I, uh, do I see myself buying this DLC content? The Rise of Iron? Yeah. I'm going to buy it. I have to have something to do anyways. I'm not just going to be stuck with anything to do. So, I do see myself buying this. <clears throat> but here's the thing I'm going to add next. With the Rise of Iron, once it drops on the fall of September, or October, whichever, you will, we will be expecting more content to come after Rise of Iron. I know that for sure. Bungie always has a trick up their sleeves every single time. You know Bungie as it is. <laughs> but you know what? Whatever is missing, whatever content that's been cut out, it needs to be put in anyways. I know Bungie can barely do so much for Destiny today. And, you know, and I understand that, you know. They know where it went and how some um, negative response they got from... Uh, from Destiny and you name it basically but I would have to say House of Wolves was probably the most pleasing DLC content ever people love that I've heard good reviews about it from friends of mine so um, yeah and um, <clears throat> but you will be expecting more I could guarantee that right now and I'm gonna be ready for this of Rise of Iron but Part of me kind of feels I might be seeing something that might make me happy. I don't know what it is, but I got a feeling about something about this Rise of Iron. So, hopefully you guys can release it sooner, but I guess we'll see, I guess, on E3 when it comes around the corner. So, blow my mind, people. Blow my mind, Bungie. That's all I can say. But, um, I'm going to say this right now. Destiny 2. People are putting out ideas what they want for Destiny 2. Please, Bungie, listen, listen to these people. Okay, please. People are asking for space battles. People are asking for, let me see. What, what else did they add in? Uh, well, it's out there. Let's just put it like that. But it has to be good. Destiny 2 has to be good. It's got to have everything. All right? No matter what, it's got to be good. And one thing I am expecting that you guys should put is trading. You guys have announced to us in your earlier work from the old Destiny days that you were going to bring trading. And I don't know what's going through your minds about it, but hopefully you guys consider trading. If you guys have showed us about it, then we deserve it, at least. I mean, if you didn't want us to have trading in the first place, why announce it, correct? So, yeah, hopefully you guys put some good stuff. And... All I can say is uh, people are worried that Destiny 2 might turn out to be like the Destiny 1. Hopefully that doesn't turn out like that because we all know it's going to be a fail right there. So Destiny 2, definitely it's got to be very good all the way. No more mistakes on the Destiny 2 like what happened for Destiny 1. So it's got to be all good. But yeah, basically, you know. Oh, man, oh man. But anyways, I wanted to put this video out talking about that Rise of Iron because, man, Rise of Iron seems like one interesting, uh, interesting DLC. And one thing for sure, I hope we do have open areas and maybe see more animals. Because I know people think that we might see some uh, wild wolf animals out there. 
And hopefully that's a sign of uh, we're going to get open areas. But who knows, I guess, right? And I guess people are, would ask me, what do you think Lord Saladin is carrying? From what it looks to me, it looks like it could be an exotic weapon. I'm guessing. It looks like an Iron Banner exotic weapon. Because when have you ever seen a melee weapon for Iron Banner? Think about that. Never. All weapons. So this could be a new melee weapon for Iron Banner. You never know. But time will tell until we see the, um, the E3 and you name it. But it looks like an axe. But it could be a hammer. We don't know. So yeah. But anyways people. Much love to you. And peace out.